Hello everybody and welcome back to Sundays in the Garden. This is officially garden season. It only took till the 4th of June. Woohoo! Somehow most of my seed starts have made it. Not all of them tragically, but I got quite a few. And I have picked up some extras from some local shops. So it should be a pretty decent start. Let's take a look at what's still in the basement. And uh, then we'll mosey on up to the evening porch and see what's growing on there. That's a slightly different look for the shelf, isn't it? One thing really cool, picked this up yard sale in the other day, yesterday, 20 bucks, not bad. Gonna solve some of my wiring issues down here. But basically, everything you don't see there is outside, getting ready for the season. Learning what real sun feels like, all about the rain. Still got some habaneros that need to go out here, which is good because I think I killed at least one of the ones that was in the milk carton there. Going to start putting some tomato cuttings in there. And how's that for a different look? Still haven't cut that tomato down, but getting ready, getting ready. Basically, all of these pepper starts have gone outside. The ones that you see here, I didn't have enough space in the box for. So they're just waiting for one more trip. But while we're down here, take a look at those Chinese five color. Those peppers are really very interesting. I can't say that cutting the previous flowers off has made all that much of a difference to the growth of the second pepper here. I have let the flowers go too long and there is one of my little dungeon bees in there right now doing its thing, so I guess I'm just gonna leave them. Not necessarily the most scientific test, but about on par with the way I do things. So basically, next time we see this garden, it's going to be in a Euro Grower update all on its own. And uh, yeah, I will have cleaned it out. I might be testing one of those pineberry strawberries in one of these two here. That basil's clearly not happy with life. But getting everything else out of here is going to give me a good opportunity to clean it up, lower the lights, you know, maybe one of the fluorescents on each side like I've been wanting to do since the beginning and really give these peppers the opportunity to grow as best they can. We'll see. We'll see, right? Something to fiddle with in the basement. Always good. Keep me growing all year round. Also very good. I think all of these potted peppers and a couple of tomatoes are going to go outside if I take everything out, it just gives me a better opportunity to reorganize what's going on down here. Because I'll be starting next year's seedlings probably in a couple months. I like to get a jump on things. But anyway, yeah, let's go check out the evening porch and see how things are uh, coping with the sunshine. So over here we have the space generally referred to as the evening porch. Because it doesn't start to get sun until the afternoon and a little bit into the evening. So... That seemed like the best place to me to try and harden these things off. Oh, forgive the change of light there. And since I've got this leaky koi pond here, I decided I'd take advantage of the inch or so of water it does keep to start hardening off the plants that I got from. I think these mostly came from the home hardware. All these ones there are home hardware, and I think these ones down here were Home Depot. Either way, so. The cheating part of my garden is basically ready to go and conveniently enough while out yard sailing yesterday we came across many bags of sheep manure for a whopping 250 each so decided to bring home quite a few of those and top up the garden as we plant things out today before we get to that though here are some of the things i've brought up from the dungeon and uh, from the front window this Nepalese bell was much taller, I had to prune it back, the sun did a lot of damage, but it does seem to have survived coming outside, so I'm kind of excited by this, and uh, this has some potential for the cracky dungeon peppers, I might bring them out. Most of the tomatoes on the other hand from downstairs have not done well so far. This one seems to have survived, I believe it's a summertime dwarf gold, so this will probably go out today, it's been out for about a week. These two eggplants seem to have survived so far. Almost seem to be doing better. I guess they like the 
more intense light. So that's fabulous. That tomato down there clearly died. Three, these three peppers have taken quite a hit and this one lost a lot of leaves in the first couple of days but it's still flowering and losing leaves as we go. Still alive though. And again, these have all been out for about a week so I'm going to try putting some of these into the garden today along with some of these. Sort of uh, instant garden if you will. I have kind of an interesting idea for this grape. I think we're going to put it in a, a larger planter. We'll get to that later on though. And I believe Shox is planting this in her fairy garden today, so that'll be fun. And then the vast majority of the plants that are missing from the basement just came up in the last couple of days. In these convenient large boxes, hold like 16 double cups each, so that made bringing them up from the dungeon nice and easy. The ones that have taken the biggest hit though are these two that were under the proper plant LED lights. They're surviving, but the first day was ugly. That said, it was also incredibly hot and I was at work, so <laughs> I wasn't here to water them along the way. For the most part though, stuff in the boxes looks like it'll be ready to go out for next weekend. So one can hope. Yes. So, out to the gardens I guess. The seed tape bed is for the most part a total write-off. But that's fine, I can make use of the space, I already have plans for it. It does look like this is the winning patch. There are still a few seedlings coming up, so I will weed that out. But otherwise, I think that's getting replanted today with some of these store-bought starts. That'll be good. These tomatoes over here all definitely died, so we'll be replanting this patch today. And then back over here, let's see how things were doing here. There's four on the end, orange habaneros. These three here looking all right. This one here, not so much. So, I'm not sure if that one's going to make the run. This reaper seems to have survived. The weary weary I hardened off in that cardboard cold frame. Sure looks like it's still alive. And... As for the sage, it is definitely doing just fine. Very happy with that. Might just get a nice, nice good sized bush out of that. Beside it we've got the peas that I planted, and the beans I should say first, and then the peas. These are doing great in my opinion. We're going to need to put up some sort of trellis or staking or whatever. Control them a little bit, but yeah. They're already better spaced than they were last year, <laughs> which is kind of saying something tragic, but still, yeah, getting organized. That doesn't really look organized. I've still got a lot to do there. And don't have anything in the bunker yet. Need to find my corn. Might just do the popcorn this year. But back there in the spruce garden, I've done a little bit of cleanup so far and planted this first section with some acorn squash seeds and of course the sunflowers to go along the back. They didn't uh, quite get enough time last year but I'm hoping for better results this year I guess. Best way to put that. And then of course I gotta clean this out still but I'm thinking spaghetti squash and those little baby sugar pie pumpkins just kind of in this one here. They did really well there last year. Uh, two years, same crop. Might not be a good idea, but I want to give it a go anyway. So yeah, time to get planting for the day, I guess. And then some weeding later on. Much to do. It's one of the best things about gardening though, is there's pretty much always something else to do. So you're never really uh, <laughs> bored. So yeah, let's get started planting and mixing some dirt up and some sheep poop and all that fun stuff. So after a little procrastination and some personal debate I've got my first batch of voluntolds here. Hopefully we'll fill up these front rows of the garden and uh, see if I want to get out of the sun or continue. Be nice to get more of this planted today though. Opening weekend of garden season here in Westman and all that. So yeah we'll see. 
Well, it wouldn't be gardening with JT if I didn't get thrown the occasional monkey wrench. Pulled up those milk jugs, and apparently that tomato is still hanging on there. So we shall see. Guess I'll be saving one of those store-bought tomatoes for somewhere else. But the other two are, yeah, just as dead as I thought. So the rest of this plan carries on. I have to rip up one of these bags and spread it around, add a little love to that soil. Well, that's not too shabby for just one bag. Spread out over that garden pretty nice, actually. Thought I was going to need both of them for that. Sweet. Time to mix it in, grab the claw. So I guess this is the plan. I'm going to put the Manitoba tomato there on the end. One of the red pumpkins there between it and the lemon boy. The other red pumpkin, and then we have the random tomato. Now that these are all planted in, got to give them a good watering. And then my hope here is that the tomatoes will kind of grow up. I'll have to change this trellis in the back, but whatever. That the tomatoes will grow up, and I can encourage the pumpkins to grow forward into this chunk of lawn that really goes unused for garden. So, it can grow there. And hopefully, this one can grow there. Lots of big red pumpkins. Sounds great. So our next patch here is the seed tape area where, as I said, only that one bit is working. So we're going to do a little etch-a-sketch gardening here with the rake and uh, start again. And poof, it's almost like it never happened. All right, we'll mix in some manure and we're good to go. So it looks like the plan for this more or less now is I've got some early type cantaloupes. I'm going to put on the one end, let them grow out kind of this way here. Again, take use of the yard space. Got a couple of different peppers here. It's a sugar rush cream on the left, and that's one of the billy goats on the right. Then we've got my little bit of seed tape that survived, and I ended up picking up a whole bunch of watermelons, sugar babies. So I figure they can just kind of grow in this space. I may have to encourage vines to go where I want, but I'm hoping this will all work out. Lots of space for lots of vining plants. Everybody wins. Kind of mixing it up a little bit with what I've got planted based on some, some good advice. All right. So with that one done, and that one done, and that one kind of still in progress, we're kind of skipping along to the other corner here. A little bit of quick cleanup. Turns out this garden's a little bit bigger and it's going to need a second bag of fertilizer. Alright, maybe I can put a few more plants in there than I had originally planned. We shall see. So I think I've got a plan here. I've got three store-bought habaneros because you can never have too many habaneros. And then I've got a crimson hot, a zucchini, a spaghetti squash start because I'm going to plant some spaghetti squash seeds there where that little pile of manure is and then I've got a bunch of cabbages I'm going to plant along the back and a bunch of broccoli I'm going to plant along the back so hopefully things will be well spaced and happy sharing the space that they've got and I guess that's pretty much a wrap for everything that's ready to plant out today the other stuff on the porch still needs a few more days of hardening off before it comes out into this brighter sunnier area so all that really is going to leave me with is some weeding and some seed planting which isn't terribly entertaining but just so that you guys know for those who want to it'll be spaghetti squash kind of where that first pile is and those delightful mini pumpkins where the second pile is and I've already got acorn squash there so lots of squash this year I hope so on that note and while I've got a shaded moment provided by a cloud up ahead I think I'll say thank y'all for joining me this week uh, it's always nice to share what I've got growing on. I'd love to hear your feedback and advice and such in the comments below. So please feel free to fill that up with useful info or just babble. You know, I'm a babbler too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some weeding and seeding to do and I will see you guys next week. Take care everybody.